uh, Jake uh, Gyllenhaal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Vinny, Allen Hall. Our, Jill, our, Jill and resident, and our resident Gyllenhaalic. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, you posted a little story this morning about how the first uh, images of uh, Gyllenhaal as the Prince of Persia leaked have leaked out on set. Floated. You see him walking around holding hands with some lady and not wearing a shirt. Nope, shouldn't be. Uh, thoughts about shirtless Jake Gyllenhaal as Prince of Persia. He did somebody needs to put him on a set immediately. He should not be allowed to walk around like that in public. Yeah, the the issue he looks be- like he should be just in Santa Monica somewhere, just like <laughs> looking for like a good burrito. <laughs> He looks so out of context. It just makes me. Yeah, the guy with the Under Armour hat on behind him <laughs> and walking by the Dodge minivan. It, it's seeing him out of context. I imagine is not. It's not helping. doing it for me. Like but, to me, the, the, everything in the, that picture just says, <laughs> <laughs> "Dude." I mean, he does have the thing where it looks like he has like a flannel wrapped around his waist <laughs> even and it's draping yeah, down exactly yeah he looks he looks like a like a dude who should be on a couch somewhere kind of sweaty with a bong next to him yeah just kind of like a bag of cheetos oh, so, yeah, so he looks Jake, like the prince Jake's couch surfing for, for the summer you know he's gonna get a job in september so it's cool he's not gonna hang around much longer don't worry about it don't worry about it this is actually on his way to pre-production for the for the movie <laughs> yeah. that's how he showed up like this You're like well, what are we doing Man, I, feel, <laughs> I feel like i'm watching entourage now right. like the, this is the behind the scenes look at his life uh yeah i don't i don't know i he it's maybe his facial expressions all just look terrible and, and caught out of context all, uh, like look, uh, looking yeah. at these shots uh, makes me think they should just cast uh, matthew mcconaughey in this role sure yeah i yeah i i like the kind of more uh, uh i like a skinnier kind of more acrobatic uh i think brad and i were talking about it for compact I more, guess more Persian prince. Perhaps. Well, maybe Probably. that also. Well, I mean, yeah. here's, the, here's the thing: is if you do a side by side of this with the box art for the Sands of Time, like physique and costume and everything, it is almost exactly it's the pretty same. Pretty close. Yeah, it's that's close. true. But I, then you you do the box art comparison with Mega Man and the actual game, and you're, you're kind of you're there isn't always a correspondence between box art and the game. Well, when they make Mega Man the movie, would you rather it was based on the game or the box art? Box De- art. Dude, definitely box the box art. Come box on. Art. Box art. So there you go. So In your Ed, fucking Ed Norton face. is Mega Man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> John Travolta is Mega Man. <laughs> oh, yes. man. What are you doing? <laughs> if they went with the game, who would it have to be? Like Danny DeVito as For, Mega Man? Like who would wear that outfit well? Hmm. Paul Young Sorvino. Jeff Bridges. <laughs> <laughs> Prince Persia looks good. Sure. The game. The the dude. Yeah, I think I think he looks fine. I He's think that right. they they have a look for him, and it seems like it closely mirrors the the games and and yeah, it, it looks, just doesn't seem like a story that's very compelling when told as a movie. Well, I, apparently they're totally going outside the. Yeah, game I mean, who knows what the story would I, be? I just mean the the core tenets of it that they'll have to stick to, which might... is g- guy with <laughs> genie pants and big curved sword <laughs> save his princess. That sounds pretty good, actually. Well, you know, like the the Pirates of the Hammer. Caribbean sounded like a crappy idea on paper, and those worked out pretty well. So that's true. And this is a, this is another Jay Brooks. And well, I never adventure. saw no Pirates of the Caribbean. First one's not bad. You missed out. I like the first, first one an awful lot. First movie lot. is actually quite good. The second one is a little crappy, but then I think they they bring it back around in the third one by really? just going completely up their own ass. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And it's such a phenomenal, <laughs> they just they grand did stroke. Yeah. Like, they did that. I'm not yeah, going to that... see a Johnny Depp movie until he reteams with Peter Deloise. <laughs> <laughs> then so you're never going to see a Johnny Depp movie. Never going to see a Johnny. Depp movie. <laughs> no more Johnny Depp movie.